post-hardcore rock group Escape the Fate have finally released the first single off of their upcoming album, which is due for release in May. And I have to say that it's definitely a lot harder than anything we've heard from the band in a while. Massacre teased fans on the last album, their self-titled album that was released through Interscope, and a lot of people thought that the album was going to take that harder direction, and it didn't end up being the case. It ended up being their most accessible record to date, as in the fact that there's not really that many screams or anything like that. Not that intense, while Massacre was, and a lot of fans felt tricked. So, they're hoping that that's not the case again here with what they've done with the new single, Ungrateful. It was just released, and it's pretty harsh. Max Green is out of the band now. There's been some lineup changes, and I have to say, I'm not really digging their whole new image. Uh, their new promo picture, as you can see here, I mean, like, what, what are you trying to look like a glam metal act? But I guess the look doesn't really matter. I want to go ahead and dive into the single here. Like I said, this is a pretty intense track. There's a lot of screamed vocals, the majority of the song, that is. And lyrically, this song is very harsh and aggressive. It took a couple of listens for me to really get into it. And I'm going to go ahead and say that I feel like there's not that much there that separates it from a lot of other post-hardcore bands. And... You know, it's easy to get lost in the screams and unoriginality here, but it's not a bad track by any means. I'm hoping that the rest of the album is more like their self-titled album or something in that vein, because that's my favorite record by them to date. And I know a lot of people hate that record, especially some Escape the Faint, especially longtime Escape the Fate fans, but that's the one that I felt myself, uh, you know, just really absorbed in when I was listening to it. Ungrateful is something that I'm not exactly too keen on. I'm not hating the track, but I'm not loving it at the same time. I think my favorite thing about this track is the guitar solo. It sounds pretty wicked. Overall for this track, 3 out of 5 for me. Hoping the rest of the album, like I said, more in the vein of the self-titled record. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments section down below. New album, May 6th of this year, so let me know if you guys are excited for it. I will see you very soon. Make sure to check out the links and subscribe. Beyond ARTV, Beyond the Reviews.